what I liked about this was it did state that there would be a goal of Mars, but of course that's an indistinct goal and ends with orbiting Mars, not with landing on it. Um, a year or so ago, I would have said, well, that, that's, that's no good. But since then, I've sort of changed my mind and, and have come to believe that it, it makes sense to first go to Mars orbit, perhaps land on Phobos, um, operate from there for a while, um, similar to how we did Apollo 8 and Apollo 10 before we went and landed on the moon. Um, I like the idea that the funding was increased by about $6 billion over the next five years. Um, it uh, puts the budget at about an average of $20 billion a year for the next five years, which uh, certainly should allow us to do something. Um, I like that it expanded the funding for robotic exploration. That was, uh, that's good. I was very pleased that it finally shut down the shuttle program. Um, the Senate bill is going to add another shuttle uh, flight. Um, I'm not sure that there is a um, payload sitting out there that is waiting for a shuttle flight. I'm not sure what they intend to do with that. It seems to be purely an effort to keep the standing army employed. Um, there's $500 million for space technology. Um, and this is a lot of SBIR type programs, um, which may or may not be useful, but unless you've actually articulated some destination, some goal, um, what exactly are you developing the technology for? And indeed, um, that's for 2011, for 2012 onward, that number gets doubled to about a billion dollars a year. And again, you know, why? You know, what, what are they actually going to be developing? Um, I like that it continues to use prizes to um, advance things. Um, some of the things I disliked about it. Um, Orion survives, but it's, it's a, a down elevator only. I mean, you, know, you can't make this stuff up, right? I mean, <laughs> so you can't write it up to the space station, but you can write it down. Um, <laughs> What's, what's the issue here? Is it the, uh, you know, escape system? I mean, certainly we're going to need an escape system, so no, why not fund it and, and, and build it? It's just bizarre, truly bizarre. Um, I, I like the fact that it, uh, it funds heavy lift, um, but if you look at the, what's stated, it says, well, by 2015, we'll be able to uh, decide what kind of heavy lift vehicle to build. And when you look at the numbers, um, what they mainly propose is to spend $500 million a year for the next five years uh, doing propulsion research. Um, <laughs> okay, uh, first of all, um, why do you build, design the rocket, which, which they're not really doing. They're not going to be designing the rocket. They're going to be designing, like, the shoes for the rocket, <laughs> you know, the, the, the engines, um, without having defined the payload or at least develop them in parallel. But they don't really know what it is they're going to be launching, and they're not funding any development for, um, you know, a, a deep space vehicle or a, an Earth return vehicle. It's, so, so what exactly will this thing be launching? And, um, okay, so you're going to be doing a lot of propulsion development, and then five years from now you're going to decide, decide somehow what kind of heavy lift you're going to build and you won't have actually developed either design or even really probably a, a good requirement spec to put something out for bid. Um, so th that seems um, purely to be a jobs program. Um, now, most of that money will probably go to the Pratt and & Whitney's and, and Aerojets of the world, though the new space companies like uh, x -Core and SpaceX may get a good chunk of that. Well, good for them, but like, what's the point? Um, let's see. Um, it increases some funding for ISS, and I, I'm no big fan of the ISS. I, I, you know, I, I hope someone can figure out some use for it in terms of going uh, back to the moon or on to Mars or to an asteroid. Um, but you know, I, I really don't see the point in adding more money to the ISS since we haven't gotten much out of it to begin with. Um, there's $2.5 billion to shut down the Constellation program. 
so how many engineers does it take to turn out the lights? <laughs> um, two, two and a half billion to shut something down. That's sort of nutty. Um, here's a suggestion. You only spend half a billion to shut Constellation down. Uh, for this extra space shuttle flight they're going to propose, we instead buy some medium lift launchers and we take the two billion dollars and we bundle it up into 50 million dollar bundles and we launch them into a variety of orbits and tell people, <laughs> if you can go get them, you can have it tax-free. You know? <laughs> um, <laughs> that in the new space companies would love this, you know, and, and something actually useful might come out of it. Um, <laughs> some of the uh, some of the numbers here. Um, there's 7.8 billion dollars for technology development uh, to be spent over the next five years. And uh, this is divided into flagship programs and enabling programs. And the flagship programs are about 0.4 to 1 billion dollars. It includes things like propellant depots, um, inflatables, closed loop life support. Now, I don't really object too much to those. Um, they're certainly needed. Uh, the fuel depots I know Robert doesn't um, approve of, um, but my feeling is, uh, okay, everyone's looked at this and said no, but no one's really tried it and, you know, to spend a billion dollars to learn whether definitively it has any use whatsoever, uh, we can certainly waste our money in other ways less productively, so. Um, equally unproductive. Equally, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, then there's the enabling programs, which are about $100 million, and this includes things like ISRU um, and in, in advanced in-space propulsion. I guess fasten here. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, you know, again, though, it, it seems that um, without really setting a destination in your term, it's so hard to define a useful way, uh, the, the useful things to be researching in these areas. Um, so I, I'm not, uh, not too pleased with that. Um, there's one thing, you know, sort of, uh, one thing we've learned from ISS, maybe the only thing we've learned from ISS, well, no, there's a lot of things we've learned about from ISS, how to waste a lot of money in international projects, and whatnot, but um, <laughs> we've learned that the human body, no, actually we learned this on Mir, we didn't learn this on ISS, we learned that the human body doesn't like to be in zero G for extended periods of time. And um, so the one thing, you know, this is the, the 800 pound gorilla in the room, the one thing that's not addressed, not proposed in any of these lists for technology development is artificial gravity. Yeah. Okay. I mean, this, this, this doesn't require a heavy lift vehicle to test out. Now it doesn't require the ISS to test out. It doesn't even require a shuttle. To test. But it needs to be done. And it's not in the list and certainly on the critical path because it's going to define your payload, which will define your heavy lift vehicle. Um, there's $3 billion for robotics over the next five years. And I have no problem with that. That's robotic exploration. Um, there's about three billion a year being spent uh, for the space station, um, and again, I'm not a space station fan. So um, now Obama proposed uh, 800 million dollars for commercial crew launch, and um, that was 500 million for uh, crew and 312 million for cargo. And it looks like the Senate's going to cut that back to 150 million. And it's not clear to me how anyone actually expected to be buying any launches in 2011, but I guess most of this was for development work. Um, and it seems uh, that the Senate bill is definitely weak in that area. So it looks like I'm out of time, so thank you. Okay, we're going to have some questions, but first I'm going to ask a question. And uh, when, when, uh, we went as part of Space Exploration Alliance to the Office of Science and Technology Policy in the White House. Um, it was a very interesting meeting. It was, uh, I've normally been used to having political meetings um, on Capitol Hill where we're sort of giving our sales pitch. And in this case, they were giving us a sales pitch. Yeah. And uh, they spent about an hour uh, talking about the flexible path and whatnot, and we just kept on 
trying as best we could to say, no, we need things like heavy lift, we need an Orion light, we need to set a goal. Um, and in the end, they didn't. They they kind of acknowledged us, but you know, we left and we were sort of like, okay, that was a weird meeting. But then, uh, uh, when the president had his talk down in Florida, um, you know, a lot of people were kind of upset about it. But in a way, I was kind of pleased because, you know, they they he did actually say then he did he did say we're going to go to Mars by by 2035 and. It, in the flexible path when we had our talk at OSTP, they would not make any type of commitment like that whatsoever. And so uh, also he was saying we are going to send astronauts to an asteroid. Um, uh, and then also uh, I have, I'm going to make this into a question for you guys, but I think it has so much to do with, with spin, with media, because when I was reading the coverage of uh, how the president spoke, what the president said in Florida, they were saying, um, and they're they're proposing something called an Orion light, which will be used uh, to shuttle people back down to Earth from International Space Station, and uh, they and basically they were really simplifying matters, and they're basically saying it would be a crew escape vehicle, and that they were even said in the Wall Street Journal that. It's kind of wasteful saying that the Russians already have such capability that could be cheaply purchased. Um, and I just thought, well, what the heck? Because I read what the president said, and he said, quote, uh, speaking of the Orion Light eff uh, effort, he said, this Orion Light effort will be part of the technological foundation for advanced spacecraft to be used in future deep space missions. So he was kind of using it as a, as a bridging type of, of vehicle. And so my question is to you, how much of this is media spin and um, I might suggest that, you know, should we be writing letters to the editor in order to try to get the media to sort of see it our way? So um, who wants to speak first to this? Well, I, I'll, I'll okay. okay. <laughs> Gary. Okay. Uh, uh, Obama's a politician. Surprise, you know. Um, <laughs> he, he's very adept at, at telling a large number of people somehow what they want to hear. And um, unfortunately, he's not real good at um, planning. Um, OK, we're going to close Gitmo. Well, where was the plan to close Gitmo? There wasn't one. We're, you know, we're going to win the war in Afghanistan. Well, they had to take a time out for several months to try to come up with some plan for that. Yeah. Um, NASA, the NASA proposal is exactly the same sort of thing. It's a bunch of. Um, goals, objectives, uh, hits a lot of buttons people want to hear, but there's no real plan there. And um, it's, it's just sort of his mode of operating. And I, I really didn't expect much more so, based upon past experience. Yeah, no, no, it's not media spin that the Obama administration position is the capsules for coming down and not going up. That is their position. Um, the, uh, now, it is true that the uh, Lockheed people will push to, if that program is preserved as an Orion light that can only go down, they will push to enhance the, uh, the program so that it turns into a two-way capsule, and I think they will ultimately succeed in that. But that's not the administration's position. The administration's position was first and foremost, kill the Orion. And then they got pushed back, and now they're saying, well, we'll give you a down, Orion. Um, because they do want to, uh, Holdren wants to preserve the uh, need to transfer money to the Russian leadership. Um, the, that is the real competition with American uh, uh, NASA human lift capability. The, the uh, entrepreneurial alternative is, is much more distant. Um, the, um, uh, but uh, we're pushing them back. That, that, that's the point. Uh, now, uh, once again, we, we said there must be a goal. Okay, so they said, well, yeah, well, okay, you got it wrong. We, we didn't say there wasn't a goal. I mean, that, okay, we may have said that, but we didn't mean it. Um, <laughs> the, the, there's going to be a goal.